Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stefan Thomas from the Wuppertal Institute. I am the coordinator of Quality PC and would like to present to you the draft EU level policy recommendations from the project. We have looked at our seven uh, priority features for development and where they could be anchored in the uh, EU's Energy Performance of Buildings Directive and especially the proposal by the Commission for the recast, for, uh, recast from December 2021. So let me walk you through the uh, different recommendations. Uh, and let me start with the high user friendliness of the EPC with our new uh, enhanced template proposal. And so we suggest that in art in six, Article 16 of the proposed uh, recast, uh, there should be additional content required in the EPC, for example, from the list that we developed, um, and that the renovation recommendations be consistent with with deep energy renovation and that also possibilities for stepwise implementation called staged deep renovation are indicated. Particularly, um, we should ask to Annex 5 the following mandatory indicators. Uh, on page 1, the improve, improved energy performance values and classifications after implementing the recommended combination of renovation actions, which we have called the main option. Also, the potential energy savings in kilowatt hours per year after implementing these uh, uh, re um, renovations. Uh, furthermore, uh, our traffic light system could be used in, uh, in the EPCs um, uh, for both for the details of the building envelope and uh, HVAC system in the present status and uh, uh, for each of the uh, renovation recommendations by component. And um, then uh, there could be the useful combination of renovations and stepwise implementation as a first step towards a renovation passport. And finally, a link to an official online platform for, the, for further information, such as the deep renovation network platform that we have developed uh, in Quality PC. Uh, more specifically about the recommendations for renovation that uh, should be presented on the EPCs and should be geared towards uh, deep energy renovation. Um, again, in Article 16, member states should be required, we think, to adapt the definition for, uh, for deep renovation and to specify that um, the energy efficiency levels of the renovation recommendations are uh, consistent with deep renovation. Um, that could use our proposal for enhanced renovation recommendations and also the traffic light system. Uh, the EPBD should clarify that in the EPC itself, the assessor should include all potential recommendations needed to achieve nearly zero energy buildings or in the future zero energy building standards and clarify whether they are cost effective on their own only or with financial incentive existing at the time of issuance of the EPC and uh, whether they are cost effective independently or in connection to renovation works that are scheduled anyway. Then we think that the member states should develop a set of methods and data to assess co-benefits of building renovation and that these should be used in the assessment and uh, presentation of cost effectiveness or as direct cost benefits data on the EPC. And, um, Best, it would be best that uh, Article 22 should also require, require member states to include all of the former in the mandatory training or examination, which is our uh, priority D. We then have uh, looked at the pro Commission's proposal and uh, came up with a few other uh, recommendations uh, uh, um, linking the EPCs better to a deep energy renovation. Uh, for example, the draft recast defines deep renovation, which is uh, uh, good um, um, that it is linked to the NZAP levels as we have proposed. Uh, it also defines staged deep renovation, but uh, in relation to the new renovation passport, which however would only be available from 2025 and voluntary. So we would like to widen uh, the definition of staged deep renovation uh, in a more functional way that it uh, uh, achieves energy standards equal to uh, at least those usually required for deep renovation. Um, and then, for example, um, 
uh, following the steps uh, in a renovation passport, as has been this, uh, proposed by the Commission. Next, um, um, the fact that the renovation passport is uh, proposed is good, but um, we think it should be available for all inefficient buildings as soon as possible, uh, or a similarly good uh, energy performance certificate. So uh, we propose to add to the EPBD article on the renovation passports that all buildings that are inefficient uh, should have an EPC based on an energy audit or a renovation passport, the latest by 2028, whichever of the two uh, documents uh, is more appropriate in a member state. Um, again, also the renovation passport should include uh, data on co-benefits of renovation. Um, and um, since not all uh, buildings will have a renovation passport, also the EPCs should, should indicate um, if the recommendations can be implemented in a staged deep renovation. If for the future, it would also be important to maintain the incentive to uh, not only decarbonize buildings, but also reduce the energy consumption through energy efficiency, mainly of the building envelope. We have thought about uh, splitting um, the indicators uh, on the EPC in two um, and recommend to uh, the Commission to study this, but um, uh, uh, I will not go into detail on this. About our further uh, six priorities, um, we would recommend to the Member States to provide a high calcul quality energy calculation and recommendations tool, which recommendations should, of course, again be consistent with deep energy renovation. Um, the EPBD recast includes um, uh, that the Member States should provide technical assistance facilities, including one-stop shops. And we think this should be established in the forms of both an online platform at the national level and a network of local or regional physical hubs, which could be operated, for instance, by the members of FEDAREN, and be endowed with sufficient resources by the, federal, by the central states to actively reach out to at least 5% of building owners each year. Then, uh, of course, um, the regulatory mandatory EPC assessor training or examination should be prescribed in the EPBD. Uh, and finally, about the advertising of the EP EPC's data on energy uh, performance in uh, uh, real estate uh, advertisements. We think that the EPBD should require the member states to create easy-to-use advertising guidelines, communicate them widely and actively, and consider to make their use mandatory, based on the Swedish example. Um, and then we thought about other um, measures to improve compliance with the mandatory use in real uh, estate advertisements. Here, the Commission's proposal has um, the provision that Member States shall carry out sample checks or other controls to ensure compliance. Um, but um, we would propose to add further three provisions that Member States appoint a nodal authority with sufficient resources and the mandate to perform the random checking and also to raise awareness on the duty to display the EPC energy data and uh, on the existence of the advertisement guidelines. And uh, where these do not yet exist, of course, staged penalties for non-compliance should be defined. Thank you for uh, your attention, and we are uh, looking forward to discussing these proposals further with you.